Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another daily practice tip for you. And today I want to talk about pedals. Now, we're not talking about guitar effects pedals or car or accelerator and brake pedals. We're talking about the pedals on our brass instruments, the fundamental notes on our instruments. So if we remember our overtone series, our partial series, how that works, pedals are the bottom note, the fundamental note of these overtone series. And they are getting, this is really the extreme bottom end of our register. So developing this, playing in this low register takes a little bit different approach than really any other range on our instrument. Now, there are some similarities to other work we've done in the lower register. So as a reminder, with our lower register, as we're getting down, for example, in trombone, euphonium, baritone, in bass clef staff, as we're getting down, you know, the bottom of the bass clef staff getting below the staff on tuba, of course, this is gonna be an octave lower. As we're getting down into this register, we have to make a few changes. In particular, we have to use the proper air to support the slower vibration we need to have. So we're gonna be using slower air, broader air, and still supporting with the air, and we're gonna be opening up our armature to help support that. Oh, like so. When we're getting to the pedal register, this same concept is gonna hold in place because again, in the pedal range, our lips are vibrating very, very slowly. So we need to use that same air approach, but there are a couple of other things we need to do as well. Now, I will say kind of as a caveat, there are different approaches to the pedal register. Different teachers have different philosophies. What I'm gonna talk about today has worked for me, but if you talk to someone else and they have a different approach, they're certainly no less right or wrong, just a different approach to that there. So this is again, what's worked for me. When we're getting down to the pedal register, we need to make a little bit of a change with the embouchure. What we really need to have is we need to be changing um, where the lips are involved in the vibrating process and how free they are to vibrate. So typically what I will do in as I'm getting into the pedal register is I will think about my mouthpiece placement moving up a little bit. Most often when we're playing low brass instruments, we end up being anywhere from about 50-50, meaning that you know, half of our top, the mouthpiece, if we split in half, it's half top lip, half bottom lip. Um, but there are different percentages we can have. And so, for example, as we're sitting, as we're going to the upper register a lot of times, I'll make sure that I'm sitting true 50-50 so that all of my armature is involved in the vibration the same way. As I'm getting into lower register, in particular in pedal register, I will sometimes shift that a little bit. <laughs> And I will shift that up ever so slightly so that I'm using a little bit more of my top lip in the mouthpiece. And the other thing I will do is a lot of times tip the instrument up, tilt a little bit, pivot. Now, we're not talking about the, the pivot system, which is a system playing where you're really you know, changing drastically the angle of the instrument to fit the different registers. But there is a little bit of natural movement that I found that happens with there. And so, for example, in the lower register, in the pedal register, you can see there is a little bit of shift. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to free up our bottom lip to be able to vibrate a little slower. If we have a lot of mouthpiece pressure sitting on there, it's going to want to vibrate faster. So we're shifting upward a little bit. I'm tilting a little, just a little bit, just to free up that bottom lip. And I mean, again, using that really, really slow airflow. And again, how do we get that started? That can be a really, really tricky thing. We need to get the air started at the right speed to support that. If the air starts too fast, again, it blows the embouchure, the vibration out of proportion. So a lot of times to start note, I'll use with my tongue a very soft flow like that and a little bit of that though it gives just enough control to the start of the note and this is one of the few times where i if, if anything i may advocate at least starting with a, you know learning how to start the pedal notes with the tongue with articulation really no other place on the instrument do we want to rely on the articulation to start the note this is one of those rare occasions where i might use it though like that <laughs> like that, oh, like that.
like so. Once we can get that pedal to start, then of course it's a matter of expanding downward. So one of the things I'll do if I, is if I can get, for example, my pedal B flat started, is then I will do glisses downward from there, like, And by the way, you'll notice every pedal I play, I'm filling up the tank again all the way because I still, even if I'm not using all of the air, I want to have the air support sitting behind that. If I only have the lungs half full and I'm still trying to create that support, it's not gonna work nearly as well as have every, everything filled up and really from the very beginning, being able to move all of that air upward. And then of course, if we have a, a tenor trombone with the F attachment, or if we're playing bass trombone with either a single valve or two valves, then of course we can expand that lower register, that pedal register further. So if we, for example, if we can play down to a low pedal F, of course transitioning and then on the F side, if you're playing a tenor trombone on your trigger or if you're on bass trombone using your first valve, and so on and so forth from there, continuing to expand our pedals downward. This is a really, really helpful tool because A, we are going to end up running into scenarios where we're asked to play pedals. Um, it is a tool that composers will use, especially as we move into more advanced literature. B, it is something, because again, we're learning how to control that, that airflow, how to control that armature. It's going to pay dividends in other ranges as well. And C, it is a lot of fun. If you do have a really great pedal and if you can lay into it, boy, there, there is an energy. I would say there's a growl to that note that you can't replicate anywhere else, or frankly, that no other instrument can replicate in quite the same way. It's it, frankly just a lot of fun. So I hope that this is a great starter for you on your pedals. If you have any thoughts or questions, if you have another technique that works well for you in the pedal register, please feel free to share these in the comments. Of course, you can always email me at tromboneshop at schmidtmusic.com. Please check out our other daily practice tips. Keep on practicing yourself and please keep making music.